Oh, you've just caught me mending my desk. One of the many things I do here in my home office. This is a special, special place that's, well, it used to be an attic, but now it's where I spend most of my time. So let me welcome you in as I become a professor again and give you a couple encouraging words in these crazy times. Certainly has been a disrupting thing. I myself didn't really know a couple weeks ago what my kids were up to at 2 p.m. on a weekday afternoon and now it's up to me to find them something to do. They're also my only in-class students. Very good. And then that next one that looks like a circle with a line through it, that is called Theta. Give me a Theta. theta. Really good, Miles. It's yeah. Theta Daddy. I know that may not be your situation. Uh, maybe it is, or maybe you're living with your parents again and they're slowly driving you insane because you're locked in with them, or maybe you are all alone living by yourself that was an exciting life at one point and now you are juggling boredom and terror it's uh it's not an easy place to be but i i think we can get through this and we can come out better for it and here's what i have to say this will end sometimes it doesn't feel like it because we don't know when but things will get back to some kind of normal, even if it's a bit different, one way or the other. So we need to be patient. The other thing I wanna say is about a lovely sort of saying that, that I remember, I actually don't know where it came from. I think I remember it from a sitcom in the 90s, but basically it was when we ask for strength, we are given challenges to make us stronger. And we didn't ask for this, obviously, but the point is that we can take advantage of this situation and come out the better for it. And I think that one way to do that is a little bit of discipline. I don't mean some massive self-discipline feat, oh, I'm gonna lose 20 pounds or learn to play the piano. What I mean is these little boring adjustments that make all the difference. Like, pick a time you're gonna get up at every day take a shower maybe before you smell really bad uh you know find time to exercise put it on your schedule you want to stay mentally and physically strong to get through this thing a little bit of exercise goes a long way there's videos online to show you how maybe you already know some stretches and some jumping jacks that you remember from high school pe whatever works the other thing, more on the mental health side, is we all need a little time to kind of get ourselves back together. For me, I like some quiet time. I need to find a little time where uh, no one else is around, at least not around enough to get their sounds in my space as much as possible. And maybe that's you too. I hope you can find that space. Or maybe you need some time with a little loud because you're cramped up and it's too quiet. Turn up the music and dance. It's not like anyone can see you unless you left the webcam on. Don't you know, cover that. Anyway, that's what I've got to say. You know, I think uh, with, uh, with some effort, with some, with some hope for the future, we can get through this thing and we will eventually see the other side. So uh, take care of yourself and others and to your health and happiness. I don't know what my kids put in that.